Early on the morning of August the 20th, 1961, East German soldiers sealed off the line dividing the eastern sector of Berlin from the American, French and British zones in the west. Building materials were brought out of nearby warehouses and the notorious Berlin Wall began to take shape to the great mystification of those on both sides who were soon to be out of sight of each other. The Western powers immediately expressed outrage at this swift and brutal action. The American Secretary of State, Dean Rusk, described the wall as a flagrant violation of the right of free circulation throughout the city, in direct contravention of the four-power agreement reached in Paris in 1949. But it became increasingly obvious there was nothing they could do. As relative was cut off from relative, friend from friend, the pain of it all was quick to spread. But none of this made a dent in the East German government's resolve to go ahead with the wall. They decided to build it to prevent the growing numbers of East Germans from voting with their feet. In other words, fleeing to the West to seek a new life away from the restrictions and disciplines of the communist regime. The wall became a focal point for all that was worst about the Cold War. It became a symbol of a divided world. As a generation grew up behind it, over the years, hundreds tried to escape, through the defences, over them, under them. The mayor of West Berlin, Willy Brandt, called on the East Berliners to be patient. You cannot be held slaves forever, he told them. But they had to wait for more than a generation for that prophecy to come true.